with the problems that Activision Blizzard are developing, the biggest people that have the hardest time to adapt are the creators, because one of the main things they do is make content based on the game itself. What I want to tell you, there's a way you could still support the people on the platforms that you watch them on without supporting the developers themselves that have a Bill Cosby room for a convention. Because that goes well. The only way that Overwatch, for example, makes their money is three ways. Whatever sponsorships or endorsements they get from their esports competitions and the Overwatch League that somehow still exists. Whoever buys the game and whoever buys the loot boxes. If you already bought the game, you can't just say, oh, I want to return it because what's going on in their company. If you're someone that was planning on buying loot boxes, instead of buying loot boxes, just give that money to creators that arguably make the community in the first place. That still keep this game on the map. And the best way to do that is just give it to the creators directly. Creators shouldn't have to suffer financially because the game they build a community around failed to represent them. Wow. Also say hi to YouTube chat. Wow, that is some of the biggest facts that I've ever heard. Strategist, thank you for the support. They have a $10 donation and spitting mad facts in the chat. Create. I'm going to quote this. Creators shouldn't have to suffer financially because the game they build a community around Failed to represent us. Oh my god, dude. If you really want to support the people that kept this game alive, the main thing I want you to do is support them just as much or even more when they don't play their game. You could be very obviously demotivated trying to make content on a game that, again, doesn't have the best work conditions. And you may think, oh, why don't they just move on to another game to, pra to play on? That is the problem. A lot of people, when they make content around a certain thing, are known for that certain thing and that's it because of what's going on with this company the creators are the one that suffer the most i think level up lifting would love more reasons to make the content he loves to make and maybe even take the risk of doing variety content because another problem is trying to do variety content when you're not playing your main game so yeah it'd be really nice to finally have some sort of flexibility when making this kind of content are the audiences that keep these games alive and keep these creators doing what they want to do. The bottom line is, if there's a person you want to support is moving away from something because of obvious reasons, that should be perfectly normal. Just make sure you support them through and through, especially if they're going through a rough time, transitioning to different kinds of content, trying to get themselves, you know, living because they still want to do this for a career, but unfortunately the workplace they were working for were complete jackasses. And if we know anything about working anywhere, I'd rather not stay in a place where everyone develops an ego and starts having literal sexual assault claims for my favorite character. Well, that's it for today. I wanted to make it short and sweet because this situation is stupid. My name is Strategist. Thanks for letting me share my knowledge. And I'll let Kev end this segment. I'll see you in the next one. Can I get a hi, YouTube, for the vid? Hi, YouTube. Uh, subscribe to Strategist right now. All right, subscribe to Strategist. Leave a comment, like the video, and share it to a friend.